Let's get after it. When you think of a bomber, what comes to mind? For most, it's the B-52 Stratofortress. This isn't just an airplane, it's an American icon. It's a symbol of military might that has outlasted presidents, conflicts, and even entire countries. First flown in 1952, it's still an active part of the U.S. Air Force today. The B-52 is a long-range, subsonic, strategic bomber. Its job carry massive payloads over vast distances with precision. Born during the Cold War, its primary mission was nuclear deterrence. Its presence was a message, don't even think about it. Over the years, the B-52 has proven its versatility. It has flown in every major American conflict since Vietnam. It can drop conventional bombs, smart bombs, and cruise missiles. The airframe is so robust that pilots joke the last B-52 will be flown by their great-grandchildren. Continuously updated with new weapons and sensors, one major part has remained the same for over 60 years. The fact that we are still talking about the B-52 in 2025 is remarkable. It has outlived many aircraft designed to replace it. The Air Force plans to keep this bomber flying until the 2050s. To make that happen, the B-52 is getting its most significant upgrade ever. It's all about what's under the wings. Why does a legendary plane need such a massive overhaul? The answer lies in its eight Pratt & Whitney TF-33 engines. These engines were state-of-the-art in the early 1960s, but technology moves on, and these engines are now the B-52's biggest weakness. They are incredibly inefficient by modern standards. Think of them like a classic muscle car powerful but fuel-guzzling. The TF-33S require frequent mid-air refueling, increasing mission complexity and cost. They also require extensive maintenance. Finding spare parts is a scavenger hunt, and technicians are retiring. The maintenance burden is a huge drain on resources. The Air Force has been keeping these engines on life support for years. The cost of maintaining these old power plants is unsustainable. Furthermore, their environmental footprint is significant. They are noisy and produce excessive emissions. The B-52's airframe is ready for another 30 years, but its engines are stuck in the past. To secure the bomber's future, the old hearts had to go. The solution? Rolls-Royce F-130 engines. The Air Force launched the Commercial Engine Replacement Program, or SERP. The winner was the Rolls-Royce F-130 engine, a military version of an engine powering the Gulfstream G-650. The F-130 is a quantum leap forward from the old TF-33S. The biggest difference is fuel efficiency, expected to be at least 30% better. This means the B-52, redesignated the B-52J, can fly much farther on the same fuel. It increases its unrefueled combat range, making missions safer and cheaper. Beyond fuel savings, the F-130 brings modern, digitally controlled engines. They come with advanced diagnostics for proactive maintenance. The reliability is expected to be far better than the old TF-33S. The goal is for the new engines to stay on the wing for the B-52's remaining service life. The F-130 is lighter and more compact yet provides similar thrust. The B-52 will still have eight engines housed in new twin-engine pods. These engines are quieter and produce fewer emissions. This engine replacement is a fundamental transformation of the aircraft's performance. It's giving this old warrior a brand new high-tech heart. New engines, better performance, lower costs. But it's not as simple as just bolting on the new power plants. This is a massive engineering challenge. You are integrating a 1950s airframe with 21 Saint Century technology. The frame is solid, but everything has to be custom fitted. One of the biggest hurdles has been with the new engine inlets and nacelles. During wind tunnel testing, engineers discovered airflow distortion. This forced a redesign causing a delay of about 10 months. The original B-52 was not designed using digital models. Engineers have had to create a digital twin from scratch. This lack of a digital foundation has complicated the engine replacement. Despite setbacks, the Air Force and its partners are pushing forward. Rolls-Royce completed the critical design review for its F-130 engine on time. The commitment remains firm to make a 100-year-old bomber a credible threat. Why go through all this trouble for an old airplane? It's about strategy, capability, and cost. The U.S. Air Force's future bomber fleet will consist of the B-21 Raider and the modernized B-52J. These aircraft are partners with complementary roles. The B-21 is a stealth aircraft designed to penetrate heavily defended airspace. 
The B-52J is the flying arsenal with massive payload capacity. It can carry standoff weapons like cruise missiles launched from hundreds of miles away. This allows overwhelming firepower without risking the B-21S. By upgrading the existing fleet of B-52S, the Air Force maintains a credible bomber force affordably. The B-52J will be a crucial part of the nuclear triad. It will carry the new, long-range standoff nuclear cruise missile. The B-52 modernization program is essential to the national security strategy. Keeping the B-52 flying as the B-52J is the most efficient way to maintain firepower. It's the foundation upon which the B-21's advanced capabilities can be built. The B-52 engine replacement program could impact the entire aviation industry. Taking a proven commercial jet engine and adapting it for military use is a powerful model. The F-130 program shows commercial innovation can be harnessed for military applications. This approach could become the standard for modernizing other aging military fleets. The success of the B-52J program will serve as a blueprint. It will show how to integrate modern engines onto older airframes. This could lead to upgrades across the armed forces, making fleets more reliable and cheaper to operate. The benefits also flow back to the commercial side. Rolls-Royce gains stability and funding for further research and development. The military's rigorous testing leads to innovations for commercial jets. This project is a statement about sustainability in aviation. It shows that extending the life of a valuable asset is possible. The B-52J will become the ultimate example of recycling on a grand scale. This lesson will not be lost on airlines and cargo carriers. The B-52 engine upgrade is a landmark event in military aviation. It's a bet on the future, placed on the wings of a legend from the past. By replacing the old TF-33 engines with modern F-130S, the Air Force is performing a heart transplant. This transformation into the B-52J is key to the Air Force's future bomber strategy. It allows the B-52 to serve as the perfect partner to the B-21 stealth bomber. The B-52J will provide overwhelming firepower, acting as a flying missile truck. This two-bomber approach is smarter, more flexible, and more affordable. It ensures the U.S. maintains a technological edge and the mass needed to be a global power. The impact of this program will be felt beyond the B-52 fleet. It sets a precedent for modernizing legacy military equipment. It proves the value of leveraging commercial technology for military goals. The lessons learned will inform countless future projects. It's a case study in smart defense spending. The B-52J is a critical piece of national defense. The roar of the B-52's new engines will be the sound of a legend reborn.